standard, a cutting plane line like this may be found. The cutting plane line, also called a viewing plane line, is typically drawn as a thick line with a pattern consisting of one long dash followed by two short dashes. A cutting plane line can also consist of thick dashes of equal length. The letters with the cutting plane line identify the section view to be found on the print. In order to understand how a cutting plane line works with the section view it refers to, you must first understand the basic principles of a plane. A plane is a flat surface. At least three points are needed to define a plane. In this example, you can see that a point identifies one single location. A line can be defined by specifying two points. A plane can be defined by specifying three points. The dashed line identifies the location of the plane along which the workpiece would be cut to obtain section view A. The arrows on the cutting plane line indicate the direction of view in which the section drawing is shown. On this print, section view A is defined by cutting plane line A. If the part were cut all the way through along cutting plane line A, and the piece that the arrows point to turn in order to see the cutaway area, we will see the features represented by section view A on the print. Cutting plane line B on this print, however, is much more complex because it does not cut straight through the part. It follows a route that will make these two holes visible in section view B.